Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild for a countdown of my top five biggest diamonds ever. I wanted to relive a couple of these moments with you guys. Some of you have probably seen all of them, some of you probably not. So the number five one starts off as I was hunting Hirschfeld and actually getting a screenshot for a video I did the day before, and I picked up a 914 kilo bison track. I spooked it off from the drinking zone, and I was trying to get a diamond with a recurve at that point. So that is where we pick up. There is a bison right down there actually coming in our direction. And that is our level 5. So if all goes well and the way he's heading, this could work out. I gotta stay like directly in front of him because if he gets up past me, uh, he's going to be going in a pretty bad direction for the wind again. And of course I'll have to continue tracking him. But I do ideally want to get in a tree where I'm hidden so we'll get close because I just don't like the bison with the recurve. Like It was a lot of fun to hunt them, but when I'm trying to drop a potential diamond, that's just not... Uh, something that I'm super comfortable doing at any real kind of range, but I think that is his footsteps we can hear. He is coming right at this tree, which I think might hide us. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's actually going to give us camo, but... So as this massive bison is coming my way, I'm thinking over the strategy that's been in my head for a couple of days ever since I tried to get a diamond with a recurve, and that is to aim high, because if anything, I'm going to shoot over its back, and the hunt continues, I still have a chance, and that is a strategy that allowed me to get my fifth biggest diamond ever. I want to sneak over to this tree. All right, that's the five right there. The one behind the one that I'm spotting. If I can get into this tree, I do expect them to probably come back my way when they calm down a little bit because they were traveling in this direction. That one is already turning around. Now we are fully hidden, though, and we can just stop moving. Let's make sure we know which one we're looking at. That's the four. The one behind that is the five. I want him to stop. I'm going to sneak out here, get his attention, and go for the shot. I don't know what just happened there. I th it looked like it went through him. Yes, sir! I'll never forget that insane feeling when that first shot sailed over his back, and it was just sort of a moment of panic. Like, is he going to run? And then he stays there as if he's going to charge me, and I get that second chance. And that time, the arrow found its mark. We've got a diamond with the recurve bow, a 987 scoring, 292 trophy rating bison with the recurve bow at literally 9.5 meters. We actually did it. I haven't even made my first recurve hunting for diamonds video, and I guess that series is never going to happen because we just knocked it out of the park with a monster diamond bison. Coming in at number four is one a lot of you guys are going to remember, and it all started actually during a video I was already doing where I picked up an 895 kilo bison track, and once again, we are on a diamond potential bison. This one was a royal pain trying to track him, figure out where they were, the wind was bad, and I just had to take it slow and try to find a spot where I could catch him in a need zone. I knew this entire area was filled with the bison rest zones, and I just had to catch them at one of those. And finally, after a ton of crouching and crawling, we managed to do exactly that, and that is where we catch up with this hunt. That's a four. I swear this is the one, because his horns are bigger, but it does not let me spot him. Like, no matter what I do, I cannot get a spot on him, but he's 27 out. I think we should go for it. That is one dead bison. I hope it's the one that I'm tracking. Um, please don't kill me, sir. What are you doing? dying that's what you're doing and you too apparently you've got decent sized horns on you but what? what's wrong with you all right well we can pretty much be sure by claiming these first couple that our consecutive is okay we've got a oh that was the diamond holy what the <laughs> i messed up so bad and got so lucky and in case you're wondering what I'm talking about here, basically I was trying to check my consec and I ended up checking my consec with a level 5 and a 977 bison. But those of you that are observant probably realized that is not bigger than the last one. So there's something more to this hunt. On what I didn't even, I thought it was a female. I really thought that was a female and I was just shooting it because it walked at me. I'm assuming it went into aggressive mode there and that's why it charged me. I just brain shot a diamond bison with a crossbow, and I didn't even know it was a diamond. What is that? <laughs> Alright, well. This is the one that we shot second, I believe. I'm pretty sure this is a four. 
and it is a 193 strofe rating, 820 gold. Got him through the spine, and this is the one that I thought was the diamond. I don't know what it is. He looks pretty good sized. No way. We just killed two diamonds out of the same herd. Yeah, that actually happened. My fourth biggest diamond ever, a 992 bison, came out of the same herd as a 977 diamond bison, which I did not even realize was a diamond. But in my opinion, the crazier part about this hunt is that I was already going out to record. I was going to do a bison crossbow hunt, and to find two diamonds in a hunt where I was already planning on recording, that's what's insane to me, because often my diamonds are, I find them, then I press record. This one, I was already hunting at a time when I was making a video, and we managed to find two massive diamonds. Moving on to my third biggest diamond ever, and moving away from Hirschfelden and onto Leighton Lakes, we had just picked up a massive 98.96 kilogram whitetail track. While recording the From Nothing to Diamond video, I'm on a multiplayer map, and I just got a warning call down in that area. It's hard to say. Let's actually check this to serve vegetation, see if he did just now run down through here, if it was old. It is just now, so I bet he's down here. And oh, there he is, I think. Yeah. Look at that. Level 3 Whitetail. He's a big level 3 as well. We do have to use the bow here because I have the shotgun. And oh, those are the wrong arrows. I got to get that switch. I was going to shoot a rabbit for our gold earlier, but I need to put the 420s in here. He's walking straight downwind as well. Uh, nah, I can't do that. That's a bad idea. We're 0 for 20. Let's see if we can get this shot off real quick. And he is down. Oh my god, I thought he was going to run. By the way, little known fact about this video, the two diamond brown bear I had in the same hunt on Medved Taiga was the same day that I dropped this beast diamond whitetail on Leighton Lakes. All I had to do was check my consec and then pick him up. We use our little trick here uh, to pick him up and 210, 993. This is the exact trophy rating of the one that I had for the diamond challenge video and kind of messed up somewhat on purpose like to actually complete the challenge that I was doing but that is so cool to get him to be the exact trophy rating and with the bow at 14.92 meters almost straight down wind that's unreal and just look at that and that's actually my favorite part about this diamond we brought him in downwind to 15 meters that to me was unreal Coming in at number two, I was hunting a random multiplayer server on Leighton Lakes, and I came across the very first track of the hunt, and that was a 95 kilogram blacktail. That is the maximum weight, and I knew I was onto a monster. The wind was bad, and it took quite a bit of tracking, but finally, we were able to catch up with him. But he is definitely the biggest blacktail I've seen in this game. He is absolutely massive. Look! at the main beams on that guy and the, just the spread that he's got is it's just insane he is a huge buck and he is 40 meters and closing i want him to potentially be uh broadside like that but a little more in the open of course uh so we're not risking any kind of bad shot if he just keeps walking uh, out there where he's headed we've got the 243 0 4 75 meters i think we should just go for that and he is down. All right, we do need to uh, get our consec. Oh boy. <laughs> I had actually checked my consec while tracking this guy. I had a different blacktail buck come in front of me. I dropped it with the crossbow and had no consec, so I knew I had to go fix that first. But finally, we got the animals down. We had our consec, and when we got there, 208 trophy rating is so close. 996 diamond. The absolute max trophy rating is 210. So I cannot complain about that. My second biggest diamond ever uh, with the 243 at just 39.5 meters. And again, the crazy thing here is that I joined a multiplayer game and one of the very first tracks I get was a maximum weight blacktail. So I definitely recommend multiplayer. It can get you some massive diamonds. It got me my second biggest one ever. And again, it just gets you game that's not on your own map. So why not give it a shot? But coming in at number one, my biggest diamond ever, we came across a legendary coyote on Jaxie Beard's map just while out running around, really not even doing that much. This is the same day that I made the Never Go AFK with Flincher video, but you see that weight, 27 kilograms. That is the maximum weight for a coyote. And then they just decided to run back at me. 
I had no interest in risking a shot on a running coyote, especially not a maximum weight one. At this time, I think I had two diamonds, so I really could not risk messing up the shot. So we had to get on his tracks and things went south quickly. This track job was probably one of the most difficult I've ever had in Call of the Wild trying to find a big animal. You can see on my hunter mate, none of the tracks are making sense. There's four of us out here trying to figure out just which way he went. Myself, Jackson Beard, Sean Johns, and Guide Emperor J. And none of us are having any luck figuring out which way he went. But finally, after an hour of tracking this guy... Oh, there's a little feeding zone There he is, right here, right in front of me, 40 meters away from me. Oh my god! You have him there? Well, I told you I was on him. <laughs> yeah. I have three of them. I'm coming. Ah, oh, see, he did get past us there then. Yeah, he snuck down around. Yeah, no, this guy was at the bottom here. He, All right. uh, I, I was following him. He hooked right here. He must have heard you guys and turned back at this monument. They're coming. Yep. I think 60 meters is my target range. Five feet right now. Really, anything inside of 80, you're pretty safe, man. Keep her at your... your yeah. zero, you know, you're comfy. You do what yeah. you want. Know. You take your time. If I can get him any kind of broadside, that is what I want. Although not necessarily at 100 meters, especially not with the light conditions. They're sneaking up around. I see what they're going to do. Yeah, they're trying to flank. They're going to get down they're the wind. To get they, they, want, they want to get a sniff. Yeah, and I'm going to have him when he gets up on that hill. Sean's over there. All right, is that I'm him? laid down in the trees because right. there's other coyotes to the east of me. Can you give a Great. call and stop him? Yep, I can give a call. I got a call going right now. Let me call it because it'll okay, be yeah. facing yep. us. Oh, you got him. Yes, sir. You got him? He's you down. Him. He is oh, down. I gotta, I gotta run over there and take a look. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Most stress of my life right there. All right, drum roll. If someone could kindly take a picture of me crouched with this little fella. You got her, buddy. We've got oh, screenshots. Yeah, that's good. All right. I like that. Oh, 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 the moment of truth, baby. What do you got, my man? What does it hold? Oh, my God. It's a 1,000. You yes. guessed it. Sir, yeah. I, nice. I knew it when the weight had nothing left to be desired. Oh, oh. Hunter, congratulations. Thank that you. That is huge. Oh, you guys are the best for helping me find that. And as you can probably tell by my reaction, I am both in shock and elated. It's like 2 a.m. so I can't yell too loud, but I am more than thrilled to get a 1,000 coyote, my biggest diamond ever, with that 243. And I could not be more thankful for Jack Sevier, Sean Johns, and Guide Emperor J for helping me out, finding that guy, and bringing him down. And guys, if you want to watch any of these videos in their entirety, all the links to them will be in the description below. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this top five countdown, and I will see you next time.